Hey Blade Ops, you are looking at the new uh, Bear Grylls Survival Knife. This is newly redesigned. I believe the new one is called the Bear Grylls Ultimate Pro Survival Knife. And the previous version was just called the Bear Grylls Ultimate Survival Knife. So there's quite a few changes to it, um, the sheath and the knife itself. I'll go ahead and talk about them and show you the knife. So here's a good look at the knife in the sheath. And you can see the uh, nylon back. That is removable and it has the uh, belt loop there. Uh, down here where the knife fits in, this is all a kind of a rubberized over mold um, sheath. Very nice, a lot of grip and traction there. Um, if you hold the blade, shake it around, there's no rub. It is a solid feeling sheath. Um, it is pretty heavy, uh, 15 ounces when I weighed it all together exactly as it is right here. Um, but it has some nice features. This is the uh, fire starter, fire steel. It fits in the front of the knife there. You can see it has a little retention ramp there and also on the fire steel has an o-ring to help it fit down in that channel. So that's a pretty nice feature um, that comes along with the knife and it's always good to have when you are doing uh, survival bushcraft or anything outdoors. It does have this um, drag through carbide sharpener on the back and I'll zoom in there you can see right there you can see an arrow that shows you that you need to pull the knife through this way so that's a cool feature another really important feature um, on the sheath is you can insert the knife this way with the blade pointing to the right and that fits in nicely or you can turn it around and point the blade pointing to your left that's an important feature depending on if you're gonna put your knife on your right or left side of your belt if you're gonna put on your gear and if you're right or left-handed so that's a nice well-built sheath it has a Bears logo right there on the front and also has a little pocket up top with a ribbon and you can go ahead and pull that out and that pulls out your uh, Bear Grylls Priorities of Survival pocket guide. So the ribbon helps you pull it out. I imagine you could put some other stuff in that pocket um, but that's meant for the uh, pocket survival guide. Go ahead and push it down in there. So there you go, a little pocket in the back and there is the Bear Grylls Ultimate Pro Survival Knife Sheath. Set that aside and here it is, the new Bear Grylls Survival Knife. You'll notice that the uh, blade is a plain blade now, no serrations. It is definitely a full tang blade, 10 inches overall of the 9CR19 MOV steel. Has this uh, integrated full steel pommel, that can almost act like a hammer could be useful in survival situations. Also has this lanyard with a survival whistle on the back. And you can see the uh, handle material there. It's a rubber overmold over the uh, TPU. This is kind of a plastic uh, polymer material with the rubber grip. It's really grippy. Uh, it has this uh, deep finger groove up front. It's some nice grip. I noticed that the ridges are jimping on the back. They were a little slick, but uh, plenty of traction with the uh, rubber overmold. Has a lashing point here. And then these two up front, you see there, those are all the way through. Look like they're aluminum lined. It also has a little bit of room for your finger, your index finger on the choil. If you're going to do some detailed tasks. And you can also see on the back of the blade, they have left some coating off the spine. And that'll come in handy when you pull out your fire starter and hold it like this and you can strike the fire starter with that portion of the blade. If you've ever noticed before, if you have a coating on your blade, it makes it a lot more difficult. So that section will come in handy when using your uh, fire starter. Overall, uh, definitely liking the uh, improvements on the Bear Grylls Ultimate Pro uh, Survival Knife. Love to know what you guys have to say about the uh, new design and check it out, Blade Ops.